Hello, YouTube. I have to admit that I quite like the see-through demonstrator style of fountain pens. It is getting quite popular these days. A number of manufacturers offer demonstrator versions of their pens, and some new pens are even made only in this form. I cannot be sure how the demonstrator pen came into being, but it's very likely that a manufacturer would make a pre-production batch using clear plastics to verify that everything inside works properly before committing to zero production using opaque plastics. Also, a clear version would have been made for dealers to demonstrate how the internal mechanisms function. Seeing how these mechanisms work is indeed quite a fascinating thing and appeals to customers. So it's understandable that the manufacturers would want to produce them for general sales. There is a tendency to call any see-through pen a demonstrator, but I cannot agree with it entirely. Say, for instance, an eyedropper pen with a clear barrel doesn't really demonstrate anything. It is just a full-size clear ink tank, really. Some technically complex pens, like the Parker 51, certainly benefit from the see-through treatment. Some examples were indeed made, and they're extremely rare. After all, the design was to make the pen as simple as possible for the user by hiding the complexity inside. I cannot imagine that would be acceptable to the pre-war customers when it was introduced. But then, similar pens are indeed made, such as this Rotman's 2001, and some classic Wingsung models are now made in clear versions by Victo. That said, the squeeze filler mechanism doesn't really work too well, as it just ends up showing the metal sheath around it. Much like this Hero 97-1 and this Warhan Angel. However, as the filling mechanism can be removed, I can easily swap them out for a clear converter. And that would certainly improve the looks quite a lot. Other designs such as the Ahab also looks good in the see-through form as well. The design that really benefits from the see-through treatment has to be the piston filler. And there are many of them ranging from very inexpensive ones like the $717i through to the more expensive Wingsung and Caliart, and the sky's the limit with the more expensive Pelicans and other things. With these, you can clearly see the helicoid action of the piston drive, and that's pretty neat. And for pens where the parts of the piston drive need to be properly synchronized for optimum performance, a clear barrel will give you verification that all the bits are fitted together properly. But there is another attraction of the demonstrator pen. You can see which ink you have put in, and that's great for artists using several pens filled with different inks. And seeing the ink sloshing around inside the source of one of the small delights. Perhaps I would not want to take a demonstrator to a board meeting and opt for a more somber looking one instead. But then it is just one of the pleasures of being a fountain pen user, and sure enough, it will give bystanders a second look. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.